Hi guys, and um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm officially back, and this video is about an update. So, if you want to see what's been going on with my life, continue. So, there's a lot that's been happening since I uploaded. Um, I've deleted all my videos, but I'll get into that when. Sorry, uh, I've got my notepad because I wanted to be prepared this time. So, and that happens to be my first bullet point. So, this first bullet point is why did I delete all my videos? Well, there's actually two or three reasons why. Um, one reason is. I thought it was too messy, even videos of Dara when he was young and stuff like that. I just thought it wasn't really prepared or planned because I know some, some YouTubers like to be prepared and planned for what type of videos they want to do. And to be quite honest, that's what I want to do. Um, and two, they weren't really scheduled. So this time I plan on uploaded every Wednesday and Sunday two videos a week and if I'm doing like daily vlogs like for example weekend vlogs I will not be uploading um, Wednesday and Friday so for example if I was recording um, what I do on the weekend you will not see a Wednesday and Friday video I hope you understand, um, understand what I'm trying to say but yeah um, I plan on taking this on my journey and officially now because I want this to be a wee hobby because um, I'm officially a single mum now. Um, I have been since June, um, June last year. At first I found it very hard. Um, I struggled quite a lot actually to be quite honest. So that's actually my second bullet point. Um, I'm a single mum now. Daryl's two now. Uh, it's been tough, not gonna lie, because you usually have that person to fall back on if you're struggling. And now I've got no one. My sister comes down and then, but I've got no one literally helping me. I don't need help as much anymore. But <clears throat> the longer I'm myself, the more isolated I feel. I know we can't even really go out or do anything right now because of the full pandemic. But um, it's just been lonely ever since he's left. Um, but uh, that's been at my toughest. Um, and I managed to get help because I was starting to feel dark, dark thoughts last year. Because my life was all about him. And I'm sure he felt the same way. We broke up in a bad way, but um, we're now getting along. We're now being civil for like Daryl's sake, and that's all I wished for. And that's all I wanted for Daryl is both of his parents to be civil with each other on be the sake of him. So, yeah, um, life's getting a wee bit easier now. Um, I'm now officially social worker free. So I could do what I want, but to make sure Daryl's health is good and safety is good. I'm actually looking after him, don't make any mistakes. So I'm still living like life as if I'm still under social work. But other than that, I'm social worker free. I'm planning a wee mini weekend break in July. Um, so I'm hoping it goes to plan. Usually when I plan stuff, it all falls apart. So... I hope it sticks to it. And now Daryl is officially in nursery. He started nursery when he was two, two in March. Um, he goes five days a week, quarter past one to quarter past four, and they also feed him their dinner, his dinner. So that's good, I guess. Saves me some cooking. Next bullet point is my mental health. Um, I'm seeing a counsellor. Um, to help me with why I'm feeling like this, um, to help me um, with my anxiety, 
basically to help me out with anything I can do and I'll, I tell her what I want to do but I keep not doing that, I keep forcing myself to stay in because I'm having a bad day but I'm coming to the realisation that it's not really healthy to stay in especially when you have a child that's relying on you and wants to go out it's it's not really fair on um, Daryl so even when I'm feeling at my lowest I do go out because sometimes it does cheer me up sometimes it doesn't but there has been days where uh, I want to stay in my pyjamas all day and that's okay, just as long as you don't do it every single day of the week. You just got to push yourself. That's what I think. Um, I'm also seeing um, another counsellor, but it's phone call with me now because of the full pandemic. A counsellor, but I'm on the waiting list for Break the Silence. I don't know if any of you have heard about that. Break the Silence is about when you've been raped and um, you think you're doing well, but... Uh, in the back of your head and um, you still struggle because I still show signs that um, I'm not okay sometimes uh, I don't trust guys I always think they're going to do something to me I can't talk to guys on the phone it always has to be a female so and I still uh, get upset sometimes when I talk about it but it's been a while since that's happened um, in some occasions I don't actually know, I don't, didn't realise that I was getting raped because at the time um, they were my partners so because I stupidly thought that because I was a, his girlfriend he was allowed to whether I said no or yes and then I've, um, I was quick to realise, quick to realise by help and support that that was wrong no matter if you're going out with each other or not, if you say no it's no. Um, and Daryl is doing fine, that's the next bullet point, Daryl's doing fine, he's coming on very well, he's learning a whole load of words, um, he's becoming into his own person, he's starting to be independent, he knows what he wants, he will tell you what he wants, if he doesn't want to eat his dinner he just does that or does what in other child look away, um, he definitely knows how to push your buttons, I'll give you that. Um, he's hit the terrible twos, but not as bad as I thought it would have been. I thought it was going to be a rough year, but the, he does have his moments, and when they when he hits the, the moments, it's bad. It's really bad to the point I'm phoning his dad up saying, when are you taking him? I, I need a break. Because it, it gets quite exhausting at times, I'm not going to lie, it does. I think every single parent, even pa parents that are still together, will probably find it difficult. Um, but other than that, he's just a good wee boy that's growing up too fast and I hate it. So, now that Daryl is in nursery, I'm thinking about my plans. Um, on Friday, this is going to go up on the 5th of May, so... Um, Friday, uh, this is still April, so two days from now, it's Friday, I'm getting a Zoom um, phone call, a Zoom meeting with um, Ayrshire College um, to see if I can get back into the administration course. So, because I want to work like an, an administration, like a receptionist or accountant or um, some other type of job, I don't mind at this point, I just my main goal is to complete the administration course and then see what my future sets off. But I do have a future plan. Get a job, save it for a driving's license, save it for a car and go abroad. Um, so that's my plans. I'm planned on sticking to it. Um, basically, when I be uploading my videos, my videos will be on YouTube on Wednesday and did I say Friday? I didn't mean to say Friday in fact. Wednesday and Sunday, sorry. My, uh, I will be uploading videos Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, and the type of videos I'll be doing is like sit down videos, um, rating products that I've used, morning routines, nighttime routines, everyday skincare, everyday um, makeup um, routine. 
just random stuff like that, but a lot more better. Not messed up like one minute I'm doing this, one minute I'm doing that. So that's why I've got my planner so I can note down what type of videos I want to do. Um, but I think the first couple of videos are going to be like sitting down videos. But I know my next video that's coming up is um, my everyday makeup routine. So um, if you want to see how I get on with my videos and my channel, please subscribe. If you want to be up, um, up, sorry, I'm still getting back into the swing of this. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, hit that bell button um, and click the like button if you enjoy what you see. And thank you for still being subscribed to me. Thank you for being patient with me. It really means a lot. I will try my best to get back into the swing of this because I, I want YouTube to be my hobby. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later and thanks for listening and thanks for taking your time to watch this video. Bye!